Ready now for the women's 100 meters. The world and American record held by Flojo. Florence Griffith Joyner, 10.49 seconds. The woman everyone is going to be watching is Marion Jones of the United States. At the recent World Championships in Athens, Marion completed her astonishing rise from a promising talent to the top of the track world in a single season with a victory at 100 meters. Perhaps even more remarkable than her ascendance is the maturity with which she views her new place in the sport, both exalted and exposed. I put a little more pressure on myself now because, you know, I have the title, the, the world's fastest woman, and I don't think anybody wants to come to their next meet and lose. <laughs> So, um, if anything, I think the pressure is a little bit more on me um, to come here and, and, and run fast and run faster. And the great thing is, you know, I'll definitely have the competition here. I have all the big guns that are going to be here ready to roll. So, I think I'll be ready. Win or lose, it's been a spectacular year for this former point guard for the North Carolina Tar Heels Women's Championship basketball team, both spectacular and tiring. I'm pretty exhausted, if, if, to tell you the truth. Um, it was the last week was so overwhelming to me, and it definitely ranks tops on my list. It's a list of things that I've done in my career, but, um, you know, it, it hasn't hit me at all yet, I don't think. And, and I don't think it's going to hit me until I get home and I'm by myself and I pinch myself and say to myself, gosh, you know, I'm the fastest woman in the world. Now on the track, the women's 100 meters, there is Gail Devers of the United States who considers herself a bit of a mentor. Perhaps the generation preceding Marion Jones. Here are the lineups. Aaron of France in one. Fines of the Bahamas in two. Merlene Adi of Jamaica in three. Pintasevich of the Ukraine in four. Marion Jones in five. Gail Devers in six. Gwen Torrance in seven. And Melanie Pashka of Germany in eight. Keep an eye on Devers in lane six. She gets out to blistering starts. Those are her nails. That is Torrance on the left of the screen. Marion Jones must win this race to have a shot at the Golden Four. Great start for Pintusevich in the middle. Now here comes Gail Devers out in lane number six. Jones and Adi, and I think Merlene Adi came through to beat Marion Jones. Gail Devers a shot at third. The win at her face about, about two and a half to three miles an hour. She still dips under 11 seconds. It's amazing. It is amazing what this woman accomplishes. She's now 37 years of age, is Merlene Audie. And with that new hairdo, the legs didn't go first, the hair did. An athletic ambassador for her home country of Jamaica, and a true Hall of Famer in the sport of track and field. This is hard to believe, Bob, for, for Merlene Audie. We'll touch on that in a second. Let's take a look at this race. Actually, Jones got out well in the middle of the track, but she faltered in 20 meters, and it was Devers that really was right up with the leaders. Berlin Audi got a very fine start. Seventh Ada Fines in lane two got a good start. Fines was right up there. The long, tall strides of Merlin Audi made the difference in the second half of the race, though, as she kind of ran down Fines, and Marion Jones was not able to make things up. Look at this finish, and I believe it's Audi by the narrowest of margins. Merlin Audi. 37 years young, beats Marion Jones, a woman she probably is old enough to be her mother at at 21. By one one hundredth of a second, Merlene Adi edges Marion Jones for the victory, and with it ends Jones's hope of that pot of gold at the end of the Golden Four.